this time, is there anybody who would like to speak at the... Uh, Karen. On the, is that me? Yeah. Okay. Karen Myersell, representing the 4th of July Committee. Um, we put in a proposal... Uh, no, no, come yeah. over here. Oh. Or stand right here, even. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come right up here. That way you're on camera and stuff like that. Everybody can see you. Okay. Thank you. Um, we put in a proposal to ask for utilization of the grounds again this year, like we did last year. Um, it would be the rec center as well as hopefully the, I don't know the name of the park that's down across from Sandy's. Ralph Park. So that we can spread things out if we have to. We're putting that proposal knowing that like last year if COVID restrictions and guidelines say that we can't do these things in a safe manner, we're not gonna do it. Um, so that's one ask. And then the other one was the donation piece. It's the exact same one as last year. Um, in addition, I don't have a new, um, there was an estimate for portalettes that I, I put in last year that was, I think, accepted. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I will get a new one to see if any of the, the prices changed on that. Okay. It's the same ask as last year, mm -hmm. depending on what that looks like. So okay. that is all. Mm -hmm. Okay? Excellent. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else would like to speak? You want to ask it, approve them to do the yeah, Oh, okay. We'll make yeah. a motion. We allow the Fourth of July Committee to use the rec center grounds in Rounds Park. Second. And get the funding. And what? And get the funding. And get the funding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Benny second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Polls? Carried. <coughs> All right. Uh, Anything uh, on the minutes? Can we accept the minutes as written? Make a motion to accept the minutes as written. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Opposed? Carried. Uh, bills? Any deletions, Arsene? Or? I, I don't have an addition or deletion, I just have a change. Uh, the bill for J. Hogan Refrigeration and Mechanics should read 197.56 instead of the 221.71. Okay. That's it? That's it. Make a motion to pay the bills. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. All right, Mr. Mayor has uh, want to discuss the laptop for the fire department, which he's not here, and the replacement of the truck. We'll wait, we'll postpone that until next meeting. And he has a... <coughs> You have a resolution here, you said? For the yeah. budget modification? Yes, the budget modification. 2021-07. I can do that for you if anything you want. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Whereas Board of Trustees deems it advisable to make certain modifications to the 2020-21 village budget, we have therefore resolved that the treasurer is authorized and directed to make the following modifications to the village budget for fiscal year 2021. In summary, under the general fund, net result, account 960 appropriations, you're going to decrease 3,125. Account 599 appropriated fund balance, you're going to increase that to 16,622. And you're going to decrease your estimated revenues, account 510 for 19,747. Civic Center, net result, decrease account 960 appropriations, 21,178. Uh, increase the appropriated fund balance, account 599 for $7,072. And decrease estimated revenues for 510, uh, account number 510, in amount of 28,250. Under the water fund, net result, you're gonna decrease appropriations $1,200. You're going to increase estimated revenues $13,555 and decrease the appropriated fund balance account $599 for $14,755.
in the sewer fund. Net result, the decrease appropriations account 960 for 52,784. Decrease the estimated revenues 510 for 33,500. And decrease the appropriated fund balance account 599 for 19,284. And this is to get the budget back in line and move stuff over into the proposed budget. Okay. Need to make a motion for that. Roll call vote. I need a uh, motion first. I'll oh, a motion. I'll make a motion when you accept the resolution as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Roll, call. roll call vote. Mr. Menard? Aye. Mr. Gadway? Aye. Mr. Falke? Aye. And I vote aye. Thank you. All right. Uh, other things, uh, the driveway at the library. Uh, the mayor called the uh, conservation today on regarding the Dodge Memorial Library. And it says that uh, they requested to swap the directions of the uh, driveway at this time, but New York State DOT suggests that simply eliminate the access on Route 11 to improve the access on White Avenue and eliminate any accident risk entirely. They said Route 11, you mean Lake Street? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so instead of having two way, have one way, just off in White Avenue. I think we need to discuss that with the library board first, right? Yep. Um, also, and what are they serve? Yep. Didn't they tell us it had it this one when we wanted to make a two-way? The driveway has to be 26 feet in order to make it a two-way driveway. The library driveway will not meet that. Yeah, but if it goes out on Liber or on uh, White Avenue, White, White, White Avenue, that's a village road. It doesn't have to meet the state requirements. That's only right. if you're going out on state highway. Right. That's what they want. In on, oh, I see. Um, but they want it to go one way or the other direction. They don't have it wide enough to make the right. driveways two way. Right. Seems like they don't want us to come out on Lake Street at all. Right. Yeah. They want us to come out on White Avenue in and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to get the library opinion on it. Oh, library yeah, definitely. Library board's opinion. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And for the rec center, request an update on the map and the current situation of uh, Google map is outdated and so the mayor he's going to do some drone work with his equipment and stuff like that and create all new updates on the maps and stuff so he's going to do that and I guess he'll get back to the conservation department. DOT. 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 Or the DOT, sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for that. And okay, uh, at the fire department uh, next week, uh, everybody but three people have all their shots. I talked to Mr. LeBlanc today, and everybody has their shots except for three people next week. And on Pearl Street, near Mr. Baker's house, there's a tree right next to the edge of the road. And it looks like it's going to split right in half. If they'd have been leaves on it, he said today that uh, the tree would have probably tipped over. So it would probably split right in half. So we should down. take a look at it. It might come down tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we got 50 mile an hour winds. Yeah. So. Is, is, the tree, is the tree in our right away? Yes. Or no? Yes. Yeah. Maybe we can get somebody to take a look at that in a moment. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. And uh, we, are we looking to take it down? Yes. It, so it's we, not very big. It's probably a uh, foot and a half on okay. the stump, probably. Okay. We'll take it down. It's not a then. very big tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And also, I'd like to talk about the floor at the village office. Uh, it needs replacing, and we got all the specs on that. Yes. Adam? Yes, we got quotes for it. Um, it is a budgeted item, and it's definitely in need uh, for someone trip. It's definitely a trip hazard. It's 20, 25 years old now, so 
we got a couple different quotes, one from Marty's Carpet and one from Lee's Kitchen Carpet and Appliance. And uh, they range from uh, 7,700 to 6,200. And uh, I've been working with our son and uh, I think we've got a plan. We definitely have the funds budgeted. So uh, we just wanted everyone to be on the same page that there's going to be some uh, a little bit of renovation work in there in the next hopefully a few weeks. So are they going to have to shut the office down for a day or so? No, uh, we're looking to do uh, some night work. So they're they're willing to do it either after hours or possibly if it falls on a holiday, if we could schedule it to work. A couple of our guys have to help them move the furniture, move the, the cabinets and whatnot, and they're going to do all the work. <clears throat> Uh, we're looking at a, a vinyl flooring called loose lay. So it's uh, something that they put in down in the church hall. It's got really good reviews. The people down there really like it. It's really durable. So our son and the girls picked out what they think would look best. And uh, I've been kind of leading it up to them because they're the ones that work there all day. So I think it's going uh, to be nice when it's done. Sounds good. <coughs> So we need a uh, do we need a motion to, to approve yeah, it? To approve it. I make a motion we approve the flooring for the village office. Second. All in favor? Sorry, you get a second. Jamie. The second. Jamie. 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 Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Alrighty. I don't have uh, the only other thing I have is uh, we're looking for a village historian. If anybody would be interested in that, uh, call the village and either talk to me or Susan, the village administrator, and we'll see what we can come up with. So we, we can't let that go. Alrighty, that's all I have. Mr. Menard? Um, just one thing tonight. Uh, I want to um, ask our code enforcement officer, Mr. Cooper, have you been allowed to go into the ERS building yet? Never yet. They haven't called me up and told me where they were on their plans. They're going to be about three quarters done before I go in there. The offices and the ceilings. Okay. I know, um, I believe we scheduled a special meeting to meet with some representatives of ERS on Thursday night at 4 o'clock. Yes. Um, if, I, if I could just comment. Yeah, sure. Um, please. I, I did speak to the ERS attorney last week, confirmed that they would be here had some discussions about some of the issues we had with respect to you know, some of the activities that may be going on, or at least they're alleged to be taking place at the building. Um, they're going to be here Thursday at 4 to talk to us about it, explain what's going on, and give us some more details. I uh, just would have liked our code enforcement officer to give us an update before we got into the meeting so we'd have a little more information <coughs> going into it. But. No, I understand. I, 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 yeah, I, I did not know where that stood until we just had this conversation. Right. Yeah. That was just my question. I wanted a little more information before I knew we were sitting down with them on Thursday, so okay. I would have liked to know what was going on in there. And I think the whole board would have liked to know. Well, they, they made a statement in the paper, but they didn't really explain anything as exactly. to what's going on. They haven't, they haven't explained anything to anybody. Well, on this board, anyway. We'll have an opportunity to talk to them on Thursday. Yep. And they can give us some explanation, hopefully, and tell us what's happening. Sounds good. Yep. Anything else, Trustee? Uh, that's all I have for this evening. Trustee Godway? Yeah, I got one thing. I'd like to request an executive session of a particular employee. Uh, second. Motion. All in favor? Right. Aye. Opposed? Sorry. Sorry, you have? Yep. Mr. Trustee Kalki. Yes, I brought up the last meeting about the moratorium that's coming up on electric boilers. Um, it's done in April. Um, I would like to know what we should, what the board's feelings on how we should go forward. If it should be put into a local law or to be extended. Um, the moratorium protects the residents of the village. What it does is. Um, it reduces our high demand load on our system and it's all calculated in our rates. So if we have these uh, non-energy efficient 
electric boilers on our system, it drives our demand up, and that's all a factor of in our utility bills that we all have to pay. So I just like to know what the board's feelings. If we should extend it or make it into a law. I mean, it's way up to the board. I mean, I don't know how it. I, I don't know how much discussion we've had regarding the electric boilers in the past. Um, I was aware about the moratorium, but um, again, I uh, didn't know if there was a discussion that the board had with respect to them. Um, I know there are, when you're talking about electric boilers, Brian, you're talking about um, boilers in backyards, that type of thing, or no? No, no. 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 Electric house boilers. boilers that they're replacing fuel oil furnaces with hot water heat. And with the electric boiler, you're not meeting the energy code of the standards of the electric heat energy code. So it's, it's a high use uh, piece of equipment that really packs out our system. When it comes on, it comes on at 100 amps at a time. Yeah. Right, Mr. Well, Pollard? it draws, it draws, it draws it can draw up to 120 amps yes. once it's wide open. And it'll really pack our system out on the residential side. So we've, we've had a moratorium for the last two years. Yeah, it was 18 months, and then it was we had it before that for a couple of years, and a few. The thing of it is, past, it's October of 2019. It just keeps getting dropped or or put away at the wayside. And if you get a big utility that comes in, or a big uh, manufacturing company comes in, and they decided to put electric boilers in, it could cripple our system. So we got to be careful on on what kind of energy use that we want to be available. I mean, I'm all for energy use as long as it's, you know, if it's create jobs and, you know, because for every 50 jobs that you create in a, in a employment atmosphere, you can get a half a megawatt of hydropower to allocate the dam. So we just, we want to be careful on how our loads are in this village because if you get somebody that me, I can't say abuse the law, but abuse our cheap power, it makes everybody pay. Because it's a formula that's calculated out on hydropower, uh, demand, wheeling charge, so it's a whole formula that's figured on what we pay every month. Well, that's where you see that your monthly bills change on the use of demand, because it depends how much demand is on the system. And if we don't put this into law, then every house in the village technically could go to this hot air furnace hot, hot water hot air yeah. or hot water, hot water but hot they're air. a high demand they're the electric, high, they're the electric boilers they could go and i mean if you get 100 houses and they're all at 100 amps you're talking to them they don't have an energy star rating so yeah. that's our concern is well, if, they came that, out, if they came out with an energy star rating i'd be all for it because then you know they did their research and there is facts behind of what they're trying to trying to quote. Well, not only that, if we forget, the village board forgets to re-up the moratorium right. and stuff, and then it goes. To, uh, that's that's what happened 18 months. Ago. Right. There was a couple electric boilers put on our system. Yeah. Shouldn't have been. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it's we have to the board have a view. Well, because it's due in April, can we extend the moratorium for another 12 months? Because if you're going to make it into a local law, you're going to have to advertise, do a public hearing, do the whole, it takes time, correct? Yes, it does. Um, I think the, um, I mean, the standard as far as moratorium is that at least that it's a reasonable period of time, not an excessive period of time. Mm -hmm. And if you know it's deemed to be a reasonable period, then moratoriums are fine and it will be supported by you know by, by the courts, whatever. If they get to a point where it's unreasonable, like we just keep you know, yeah, just we, but if a municipality just keeps extending a moratorium, extending a moratorium without taking any action, that's where it could be called into question. So it should have been put in so, okay, so can we extend this for six months till we make it a little bit longer? Wouldn't that be? I would think that'd be a more reasonable period of time. I mean, how long has the moratorium been in place now? Uh, a year and a half? 18 months, yeah. and it's up in April. It was, 
was signed on October 22nd of 19. Well, I, I think you know, take into account certainly COVID, COVID year that we've experienced, oh, experiencing. Um, I think a six month period of time would be reasonable to take into account what's gone on in the last, certainly the last year. I don't think, it, and then I don't think any we can get going and get our hearing and everything, our public hearing, or the, make it into law get within that time. Get yeah, a proposed local law drafted, so the board can look at it, so the public can comment on it, right. and then go from there. I think it just it, it keeps getting forget, forgotten about, right? And that's our problem. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So if we go six months, we need to get we need to get it done. We'll, we'll that'll give us. Time to have Tom draw up the law for us. Is that something that you draw up for us? Sure. Sure. I could I could look into it and see what I could find out there for so the extent the samples that might be able to be adapted to the village. To extend the moratorium, you just have to do it by resolution or do it by motion. Um, it's almost passed similar to like a local law, like correct. I think that's how the moratorium is passed. So, to answer your question, I think I would probably put it on for the, for the next next meeting agenda. Um, but I think there has to be, whether it's by resolution, but I think it has to be almost enacted similar to like a local law where it's passed and adopted. So we'll bring that up next meeting? Yeah, I, I can put something up for next Mr. Pocket? No. Oh, yeah. Ms. Administrator? I don't have anything else. Thank you. Trustee? Our, uh, our set? Uh, we need to schedule a budget meeting. Um, the budget has to be out by March 17th, but it has to be presented to the board on before March 20th at a regular meeting, and March 17th is the last meeting. Uh, there's a few things that needs to be discussed on the budget. So can everybody meet uh, sometime this week or next week? On Saturday. Saturday morning. Saturday morning? No. Okay, it's Saturday. It's only on Saturday. How about Thursday? Thursday? Thursday. Huh? Thursday night. We're here Thursday night for all of this time. Is there, I mean, you guys, I got to, uh, your schedule is probably worse. For next Monday? 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 Yeah. Monday, everybody? Four o'clock? Four? Yeah. Okay, next Monday, four o'clock, we'll have a budget hearing, or budget meeting, I should say. The only other thing I would mention, I think, and I know Trustee Gadway in a motion for the executive session, so I know we're going to be going into the executive session. Um, I would also request that the motion be made at the executive session. Uh, on the issue of personnel as well. So, so we can make that motion as well. And maybe, I don't know if it's the same thing, but your, but your matter is going to be trustee Gatway, but there's a separate matter of that. Discussion. Okay, so I'll make a motion we have the executive session on personnel. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Uh, Mr. Cooper? The only thing I have is I'm preparing a, a letter now. <laughs> I'm getting the addresses matched up with the homes. I'm sending everybody that has over one one uh, one uh, water one water billing. If they obviously has an apartment in the house, it's a second apartment. Uh, everybody's going to get a letter about the smoke detectors and the fire prevention thing. Uh, <coughs> we haven't sent them out in years, but I'm getting it all lined up, and I haven't even written the letter yet. But I just said there's a few hundred of them, and I got to get the addresses because this is 14 something Street. And if somebody lives in Plattsburgh or somewhere, you gotta get everything lined up. So I, that's what I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. Of course, as you guys know, except for the home inspections that I have going, things are pretty slow. Okay. Is that time of year? Yeah. Any questions from the public? No questions? Make the motion to go into recess.
Yep. Adam. Uh, but, yeah. Oh,